All right, what's up everybody? So today we got a uh, two inch micro brushless and this one's gonna be 4S. Um, also, this one's gonna have a run cam split in it. Um, I found this frame on Banggood and I ordered it a while ago and I just thought that, you know, I, uh, I held everything up together with this frame and everything worked out. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this up. Um, this frame is a Eosheen Firer, F-I-R-E-R, -E whatever that, uh, however you pronounce that. And it's a 110 frame, uh, two inch props. So um, this just fits the split right inside uh, uh, this little stack right here and um, what I did was I went around and I um, mounted here's a split board right here um, this is just you know without the cable a different board uh, but I went ahead and I already mounted it up and um, what you have to do for this frame if you want to use this frame now also I'm sure that there's a lot of frames out there that uh, would be a little bit better for this build but um, you know I had this frame laying around so I think this one's good um, so pretty much I had to drill out two holes right here, and that's not a big deal at all. You can do that f really easily. Um, but yeah, with those two holes and these holes right here that are already there, um, those are 30 by 30, and then you got, um, holes on the inside for 20 by 20 for your stack. So we're of course running the split board underneath, and then we got our uh, battery strap right here. So that'll hold the battery right underneath the split board and that's surrounded by carbon so that should be really well protected underneath and it'll be out of the way as well because we can only fit 20 by 20 up top. So um, for our stack we got a XJB F428 and um, this one's going to be the 20 by 20 uh, stackable with these uh, pins right here. Um, they just slide onto each other and this is going to be the 28 amp uh, ESC all-in-one and this guy does have an OSD so um, I use this stack in all my builds even my uh, 5 inch builds um, I really like this stack so this will fit really nicely right inside here um, and that will be really nice so for our motors like I said uh, we're going to be running 4S on this build um, we got some Emacs, uh, they're going to be 1106, 4500 KV, and um, these motors are really nice. I've been looking, or I've been waiting rather, for uh, some 2 inch uh, 110X uh, motors that can run, uh, that are rated for um, 4S. So these are the first ones that are actually, you know, legit rated for 4S. So I'm really excited to use these. Um, in a build, so um, you know I won't need to extend any wires, of course. And um, you know this build should be really, really nice and really easy. Um, for my VTX, I'm going to be running the. Um, this is going to be the Eosheen VTX 03. It's uh, switchable to uh, 25 to 200. And it does have race band and all those that good stuff, all the good channels. Um, it does have a little UFL connector. Um, I'll probably just leave this dipole on to begin with, just because it's light. But um, you know, you can of course put uh, take this off and put a little UFL to SMA or a UFL straight to CP or you know UFL to the uh, Axi or AXI2 or whatever. Um, CP and that will be really nice and I really like this uh, 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 this VTX as well and this should be able to sit right um, between the stack right here boom so look how good that looks That's, this is gonna be a really nice build um, so we got that we got this and then just a receiver of course a receiver of your choice um, I'm gonna be using a uh, XM plus and um, that's around here somewhere, but you guys know how it is. XM Plus uh, for FR Sky. Of course, you use whatever you want to use for whatever radio system you have. 
but um, with the split being at the bottom of this build, um, you should have plenty of room up on top of that 20 by 20 for a, um, for a uh, receiver in there. So this thing's gonna be awesome. Um, one last thing for the props, we're gonna be using uh, Gemfan 2033 blades. And um, these are just new props that, uh, that you know, I've seen, seen other people run. And uh, I don't know, I think this will be a good frame to test them out on. Um, you know, they should fit just fine. Um, but, uh, you know, I haven't ran these props yet on any other build, so this will, uh, I don't know, this will be interesting. Um, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll cut to the finished product because I could show you guys the build. But, um, you know, it's not really interesting. Uh, you guys can see, um, you know, look up builds and, you know, it's going to be the exact same thing for all these builds except this is just going to be way quicker because everything's so small. All right, so um, we'll swap to uh, finished product here. Here we go. All right, so it is all done. <clears throat> we got all our stuff here shoved into this uh, little frame, this uh, Iashin Fiber 110. And um, you can see that this camera fits right in there, right? Uh, very nice. Oh, I gotta still have one more bolt right here. But um, but you can see everything's real nice. Uh, we got the uh, XM Plus shooting out the top on these guys. I don't know, I might change that to the arms, but as of right now, that's pretty good. Um, we got a little pigtail, or not the pigtail, the um, the uh, linear coming out the back. Um, everything looks really nice, um, nice and in there. Um, there's the split right there, um, my 20 by 20 stack, and then up top we got the uh, VTX right here. Um, you can see it, the screen right there, and the little uh, plug or the button is right here. Um, <clears throat> so that's pretty much it. Now this thing can run 4S and it has an awesome video. Um, I just tested it with these props. I might change out these props or at least test the uh, standard Gemfan 2035s. Um, uh, it just seems like it doesn't have as much punch on 4S that I thought it would. Um, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll test again on 4S in a bigger space and then we will um, test on 3S and then we'll test with uh, different props and stuff like that. So um, you know, we will uh, get started on that, so uh, stay tuned. Alright, so I have these 3S batteries that I got. They're about like seven bucks a piece, and um, they're kind of like a cheaper manufacturer. Um, you know, they do the job, but I think there's a lot of better 3S batteries out there. These are like 450 3S. Um, I would suggest Tattoo, like 3S, uh, either. 450 or uh, 600 or something like that and um, I think you would get better results with that one but you know you see the punch and everything with like a cheap 3S battery um, in a second we'll cut to 4S and uh, you'll be able to see a lot um, uh, with the 4S system All right, here's the 4S. Uh, this is a newbie drone, uh, 65C, 450 hour uh, 4S battery, and this guy is really small, but it has a lot of punch. Now, with this battery, I'm going to get a couple of these batteries, and I'm gonna probably going to test out a couple more, uh, you know, different uh, sizes of 4S and different C ratings from different companies. Um, but you can tell from the punch that this is an awesome battery for this drone. Um, the power to weight ratio is just perfect and it catches itself and it you know gets up the building just fine and um, you know if if I get a couple more you know I don't even have to I can I can you know keep looking for uh, different batteries better batteries but if I wanted to I could just run this uh, you know get a couple more of these ones and just run these all the time but um, but yeah there you go that is the um, 110 millimeter uh, 1106 uh, on 2 inch so yeah this is the 2 inch 4S diving down buildings 
with HD and uh, you know this thing will fit in your pocket so you know take that into consideration and um, yeah maybe build it if you want I'll have a parts list in the description alright guys see you later bye